Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. Hey, it's Double Deuce back, the Big Denny. Today, you know, I was searching the internet because I want to do some videos for you guys. And, um, you know, I never really found a review on the RC four wheel drive blazer wheels. So I see the only videos I seen were them running them, which they, they were pretty cool. And uh, so I wanted to kind of go over some ins and outs and, uh, oh, you know, the, some of the things that I seen because I own several of these old blazers. Um, and I wanted to go over some scale accessories that, you know, I ran across and touch base on some other things. Okay, here's your Trail Finder 2 155. And, um, you know, it's got your mud thrashers that came with it in the kit. You know, you can check it out there. And then, now here's your RC four wheel drive um, blazer wheel. Nice, and they're nice wheels. They're really nice. They're, you know, alloy and they got the, the backing with the studs and all that. Um, I don't know if you could put the disc brakes on these things or not um, I haven't tried that yet and like I say you with your conventional 12 millimeter hex and all that one thing I thought was really cool was they come the center cap come or the trim ring comes off now the trim rings made out of plastic but the wheels are made out of, of uh, you know stamped alloy so you know and they got they got all the like the bead lines on them here and uh, the only thing they weren't really um, equipped with was the center cap. If anybody knows these old blazers, you know, they always had a, a little center cap that went over them. And uh, the front one was open for the uh, your front hubs. So you could get in and lock them, unlock them. And they always had like the little orange and yellow or whatever it was, 4x4, four four, you know, sticker in the middle of them. But uh, like I say, the trim ring, it's got the little fingers on the back that, that snap into the little holes. And if anybody is familiar with these RC four-wheel drive wheels, um, when you're putting these things together and you're putting them on the tires, um, you know, they only go one way. You know, you got to figure out where the lug nut holes meet and the, the backing of the rim here meets you know and it gets a little tricky you know if you had a few beers or something and you're trying to like put them together and you're you know after a long day you're not in the mood but anyway and this cap snaps right in so it and you can remove it take it out whatever you want to do and uh so i thought that was something i want to touch base on now i got the goodyear um wrangler tires for it and if you look at the size comparison they're not you know they're not much bigger than the 155's you know the mud thrashers they are a little wider and I think that contributes because the rims are wider than the, the steel stamped rims okay so now the other thing that I really wasn't too cool about was the trail finder too the if anybody like i say knows these old blazers the front axles are wider than the back on the factory trucks that gm built so if you ever look at an old blazer the front the front wheels the track is wider out more than the rear you know that was to give it you know the ultimate traction you know plus they had steering components and all that stuff to deal with which you know, they, they did it for a reason, because so when you're tracking through mud, snow, whatever, your front tires are blazing the path, and your rears are pulling through, too, and that way you're not burying yourself. I guess there was a method to the madness. So, I got, like, some spacers here. This is the, the thickest spacer I could find that I had. So, I ordered a bunch of them online from Hong Kong, and some advice about that, if you're going to buy stuff from Hong Kong, or China or anything that's going to take a while to get here do a bulk order um, 
because I've done that many times. I've ordered just what I needed. And then next thing you know, I turn around and three days later, I need something else. So now did I only wait, you know, two to four to six weeks for this to come. Now I got to wait another two to four to six weeks to finish my project. So plan it out accordingly, you know, and go for it, you know. Now I got the RC four wheel drive, you know, worn hubs for it, you know, because they're, my blazer has them on there, you know, aftermarket, kind of nice. And these here are the, the scale leaf springs. I bought these for my bruiser. But, um, you know, they're, these are really nice. They they're actually look like a leaf spring. They got the clamps on them and everything. The only problem is they're, they're very, very stiff. They, you know, they're... Whoops, I grabbed the other one. Very, very stiff. And this thing's going to do a lot of bouncing with these, but it's going to look scale. And then, of course, you know, I've got the, um, you know, the RC full drive scale drive shafts, too. These are, these are for the Cruiser and the Yoda and all that. Um, now, one thing, today I was, like, whipping through Walmart real quick to get some of my Thanksgiving supplies last second. And I went into the hobby section, and I found some chain. Now, if you look at this, this is this is the small. Okay, this is a real small link chain. Okay, but it looks like actual chain. Now they, you know, they get not a lot of money for this stuff when you're buying it, and you know you can you get the hooks and stuff with some of the chain. Some you can buy the hook separately. Now this is 90 inches of chain. It was like you know two dollars and change, you know. And uh, here's the bigger the bigger chain. You know, for you loggers out there or truck drivers. Or if you wanted to put tire chains on your truck, you know, you can make them out of this stuff. And they sell separately all these little attachments and rings and all that stuff for you to put them on. You know, so if you wanted to build your own scale chains. And um, so that right there was my video. You're going to see there's some Q-tips here. And the reason why... Um, is because my, I was going to do another video on rusting, okay? You know, these wheels are super nice and bright, but hey, that's not the real world for us. And that blazer is super clean, but that's not the real world for us. You know, if you want to, um, you know, you want to get a view, you know, of, of what a real blazer looks like, you know, that's, uh, you know, been around the world a little bit here. I'm gonna pull this out, and I'm gonna cover the camera. And there's one out back. You can see the rust and all that. Yeah, I scabbed the doors off of it. But that was my show queen for a long time. I ran super swampers on it and. 10 inch wheels and it was pretty hot looking until it eventually rotted away too so anywho like i say like share subscribe i'll make some more videos for you guys i hope that was helpful for the rc four wheel drive wheels um you know getting back to basics here I like them. They're a cool looking wheel. All right, guys. This is Denny. I'm out of here. I'll catch you later. Adios.